Hi, I'm Catherine and in this tutorial I'll be making roux. If you have a kit, follow along. You will also need white tacky glue, small sharp scissors, a ball stylus, a soft mat, a black watercolour pencil and something to apply the glue. I'm using a craft knife. Our first step is to glue roux's cardboard shapes down to the tanned felt, leaving a small space in between. These pieces are a back body, a front legs and arms. Remember to make sure you have a left and a right arm positioned on the felt. Then we can move on to glue the two soles to the cream felt. Using the paper pattern I'm cutting a small circle of cream felt. This will become the chest blaze. I'll also be using a larger tan circle for the face and a half circle for the pouch. Trim around each of the cardboard shapes, leaving a small seam of felt extending past the edge of the cardboard. I'm using my scalpel to feather out the edge of the felt which will make the seam larger so later on I can turn it down and glue it to the underside of the cardboard. When you've completed the top side turn it over and tease out the felt on the undercard side as well. Lightly coat the lower edge of the card with a smear of glue then fold the felt seam gently back over into the glue. Work your way around the body, adding the glue and then folding the felt down over the shape. Where the inner leg meets the foot, you may need to clip some of the felt seam and re-tease the felt so when you glue it down you don't lose any of this contour around the ankle. To shape the body, I'm using the large ball stylus, just pushing down gently. This stretches the card and makes it cup. Use the smaller end of the ball stylus to work your way along the edge of the foot. Bring the legs together, forcing a crease into the centre of the body, enabling the kangaroo to sit. I've repeated the same steps for the kangaroo's front body. This time turn the legs inward with the felt sides facing together. And using the large ball stylus to make the tummy a little more pronounced. We will need to add two small balls of cotton batting to the thighs. Once they're glued in place, add a third larger ball to the tummy area. The fourth ball will be the head and once it's been rolled will then need to be shaped into a wedge. Glue them securely into place, tucking any of the stray white fibres neatly into the body shape. 
Using the circle of tanned felt we cut out earlier, tease around the edge with the craft knife. Then gently with your fingers tease the outer edge so you have a very softly defined edge. Add a small amount of glue to the face area. Place the felt over the face and gently bring it down, wrapping it around the head. The aim is to keep the wedge shape at the front of the face while smoothing the fibres down onto the back of the head. A small amount of glue will need to be added under these fibres to keep them down against the head. Gently press at the base of the head to form the chin and tweak the nose area with a little pull. We're now ready to add the front body. Coat the chest, the upper leg, the knee and the ankle, being very careful only to add a small amount of glue around the top edge of the foot. Line the two body pieces up and gently push together, holding them firmly in place until they dry. When it's secure, you can tease a little bit of felt from the front to conceal the seam. A few small dabs of glue under the chin will define the neck area. Using the craft knife to apply a small amount of glue to the lower join. Taking care not to join the feet. When it's secure, you can tease a little bit of felt from the front to conceal the seam. A few soft pushes with the ball stylus will reshape the sole area. Defining the hips will help to bring the feet closer together. Now we can start to give some kangaroo characteristics to our toy. Using a light coat of glue, apply the cream felt blaze to the chest. We'll need to lightly tease around the curved edge of the pouch before applying it to the tummy of the kangaroo. All we need is a small amount of glue on the outer curve before we place it in position. A good coating of glue is needed at the opening of the foot before we can add the sole in place. Once a small ball stylus has been used to shape the inside of the arms, pick the arms up, pinch it at the elbow and the wrist and then gently twist the hand 90 degrees. Add a good dab of glue to the shoulder and position the arm. We need to line the tan ears with the cream felt. Wipe the tan felt with a light coating of glue before pressing the cream felt ear on top. Gently push it back, exposing a band of tan felt around the outer edge of the ear. To shape the ear, add a spot of glue to the cream felt Then fold it down creating a pleat. Use the craft knife to tease the cream felt and fluffy up the inner ear. Then a sharp pair of scissors to trim back some of the tease 
so you can see the definition of the ear. The ears are positioned at right angles to the head, using a good amount of glue to secure them there. Now this part may look a little mean, but it's the easiest way to hold him without crushing him. I have to find the eye line by pushing back with a pin to give me an indentation. I'm using a pin to break away the felt and wriggling it around to make a space for the eye. Fill the space with glue, pop the eye in and make sure you use enough pressure to push the eye down. And lastly, a few tweaks on the nose just to get it in the right shape. I'm using a black watercolour pencil. You could also do this with a pastel chalk or an eyebrow makeup pencil. Now he wouldn't be a kangaroo without a good sized tail. From the scrap felt, cut a triangle 2 cm by 1 cm. Give it a light coating of glue and roll so you end up with a long cone shape. Neaten the end, add a spot of glue and position on roux. I hope you enjoyed watching. For more free videos, subscribe and watch at Cat & Co YouTube. For kids, follow the link below.